do that, but I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? right. Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? That's... So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you going to do, Cole? <laughs> My niggas like, Bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime. Boom, 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 right? Yeah. Niggas want to see blood. They ain't wrong, though, type and, shit. And I was conflicted because, one, I know my heart. You know what I mean? And like, I know how I feel about my peers. These two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase chase their greatness, right? Drake so I felt Drake. conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. Facts. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupt. Ain't no fucking way, bro. <clears throat> so basically, he's regretting the entire diss track that he did to Kendrick. One thing I don't like about this is that he said he tried to keep it friendly. Bruh, you was calling this man a pussy. You said his whole catalog is trash. How do you can't you can't reverse that, bro? You're not gonna sit there and be like, yeah, my bad, bro. We just you know what I'm saying, you know how I get. Yeah, we just we just rapping. Like, no, nigga, fuck being called a pussy. Cause if I'm a rapper and you're a rapper and you talking about my shit is trash, bro. Come on, dog. You know what I think happened? I think Kendrick dropped his shit, right? And like he said. Everybody was pressuring him into uh, responding. Like, you got to say something. You got to say something. Because, you know, at the end of the day, you kind of have to, right? So, Kendrick drops his uh, diss track. J. Cole responds. And here's the kicker, bro. The backlash on this shit, so, like, from what I've seen, has been predominantly, like, negative, bro. Like, it's, it's been bad. <laughs> It ain't been good for J. Cole, bro. And obviously, you know damn fucking well that he's he's seen this shit. I'm pretty sure he's reading comments. People like, oh, J. Cole is mid. His, uh, uh, Kendrick killed him. Uh, J. Cole is now 0-1. Like, all kind of shit, bro. Like, niggas has been, like, just on his ass, bro. I feel like that's, that's like, the main reason why he apologized. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to necessarily say that he was scared of Kendrick's response back. But who knows? Maybe he's just owning up to his shit. It takes a big man. It takes a it takes a man in general to say, yeah, I was wrong. Like, this ain't worth it. Like, some W man's type shit. But at the end of the day, it's like... Like, me personally, I don't even know how to feel about this shit. Like, it's cool, because hopefully, you know, they 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 make amends and shit. But at the same time, it's like, fuck that shit, bro. It's wartime, like he just said, bro. You know what I'm saying? But we're, I mean, we're at the, like, at the end of the day again, like, we're just spectators. This is them. They, they're the ones involved. Like, it's, I'm, I'm interested to see what Drake... Like, how Drake moves after this. Because I think it was yesterday where he posted a picture on his Instagram of an NBA trophy, a pen, and a notepad. That only means one thing, bro. That only means that he oh, he's <laughs> he's gearing up for Kendrick, bro. He's writing his response as we speak. And then J. Cole comes out with this fucking apology. So, it's crazy. The fucked up part is, like, if Drake was to do this shit, not the internet, but the whole world would have fucking crashed, bro. They would have been on his ass. 
calling him a pussy, telling him he, telling him that he's scared, and oh, Drake is lame, bro. All kind of shit. Drake literally can't do or say nothing without the internet finding some way to turn it against him. If Drake responds, he's sensitive and he took it to and he took it to heart. If he doesn't respond, he's scared. If he apologize, he's pussy. <laughs> like Drake literally can't do shit. But I kind of feel like he might not even say anything now, just out of respect for J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? Shit's wild, bro. I can't believe this shit. I can't believe this shit. And you got fucking Metro talking about some oh take sides. Uh, uh, choose wisely. And once you choose, stay over there. Get the fuck out of here. That's a petty ass bitch right there. I ain't gonna cap. J. Cole, at least he, he at least he meant it up. I don't know what's going on actually, but that shit's crazy, man. This shit is crazy. When I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness, I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? Yo, Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, catalog correct? Catalog. catalog. That's a catalog. As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, Shit's Forgive crazy. a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path Cause I ain't gonna lie to y'all Past two days felt terrible Like it let me know how good I've been sleeping For the past ten years So all of that to say man I wanna, I wanna now perform the song That's a reminder to me Of getting back on the right path And getting in tune with God And the name of the song is called Love Yours I wanna do that for you Damn Niggas ain't gonna like this shit. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think, man. That shit's crazy, bro. We off this shit. We out.